six, five, four, three. Hello and welcome to Decades, the show that touches the tests the reach of millennial knowledge. I'm your host, Nicolette. Let's see who we've got competing today. What's your name and where are you from, contestant one? Um, my name's Nina. I'm from Miami, Florida. Cool, yeah. Nice place. What's your major? Um, SIS. Cool. Okay. Uh, now, who's contestant two? Hi, I'm Sage. I'm from near San Francisco and my major is political science and economics. Awesome. Now on to contestant three. Introduce yourself to us. Hi, I'm Ellie. I'm from Rhode Island, Florida, and I'm a communications and marketing major. Awesome. We've got a good crop of contestants here. All right. Are you guys ready to play? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so here's the way the game works. Each round covers a decade. I'll ask you two questions each round. One will be um, a news question, and the other one will be pop culture. <laughs> pop culture. Whoever buzzes gets to answer first. If you get it right, then you get the points. If, if not, the other opponents can steal the question. And as we go further back in time, the questions will be worth more points. The two contestants with the most point at, points at 1950s will go on to the speed round. We'll start in the 2010s and finish in the 1950s. So are you guys ready to do it? Yeah. yeah. Our first question for, is from the 2010s. It's a news question. So, in 2014, President Obama announced that the US would resume normal relations with what communist nation? Nina. Cuba. That's correct. OK. Now an entertainment question. What television actor was replaced by Ashton Kutcher in Two and a Half Men after ranting about the show and executives in 2011? Sage. Charlie Sheen. That's also correct. OK. Now we're moving on to the 2000s. OK, so the 2000s. My favorite memory of the 2000s is the premiere of the Disney Channel movie, High School Musical. So guys, what was your favorite memory from the 2000s? <laughs> Anyone? Um, I don't know, probably just the music, yeah. Britney Spears, Ooh. all that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, some Britney Spears. <laughs> awesome, okay. So the first question for the 2000s will be, okay. In 2008, the International Astrological Astronomical Union redefined what planet? Oh, okay. Pluto? Ellie? Yes, the answer <laughs> is Pluto. Second question. What year did Apple launch the software-based digital music store iTunes Online? Ellie? 2001? No, I'm sorry. Let's 2003? Yes, that is Ooh. correct. Sage gets the points. That's all for the oh. 2000s. Let's head back to before the turn of the century. We're back in the 90s. The pop culture question for this decade is, what online auction website was founded in 1997? Ellie. Uh, Craigslist? I'm sorry, that's not correct. Nina? <laughs> Yahoo? No, I'm sorry. Wait, no, wow. <laughs> Sage, do you want to answer? Amazon? No, I'm sorry, guys. Oh, eBay. The <laughs> correct answer is eBay, but it <laughs> wasn't your first one, so. Okay. <laughs> now on to our news question. <laughs> Who was the first female Secretary of State appointed in 1997? Ellie. Hillary Clinton? No, I'm sorry. Jokes. Sage? <laughs> Nina? No. 
<laughs> it happens. <laughs> History classes, a lot. But the answer is Madeline Albright. Oh, I actually knew that. That's upsetting. <laughs> Okay, so now we're going to move on to the 1980s, which I imagine was a really fun time based off the based off the fashion and the dancing. Okay, our first question for the 80s relates to pop culture. Which basketball legend was named the NBA's Rookie of the Year in 1985? Nina? Michael Jordan? Yeah, that's correct. Cool. <laughs> awesome. Now for our news from the 1980s. In 1984, the Soviet Union boycotted what U.S. host city for the Summer Olympic Games? Uh, <laughs> Nina. Is it Greece? No, right? No. Um, I'm sorry. Host city. Oh, my God. <laughs> Anyone else <laughs> want to answer? <laughs> no. Okay, so the correct answer is Los Angeles. Oh, that's okay. Good. That's all for our first round. Let's check in with our co-host, Kofi, to see how many points our contestants have. Well, Nina has 30 points, Sage, 15, and Ellie, 10. So Nina is in the lead. Awesome. Thanks, Kofi. Not a problem. We'll be back shortly with 1970s trivia after the break. Stay tuned. First day of the challenge, feeling hyped, feeling good after a nice um, back day, that's what it's Tuesday, which are back days. Hopefully, this will continue. Feeling weird today, didn't do any um, cardio at the legs, don't skip leg day. Hopefully, I'll get used to this. The shoulders and arms, as you can see, I got a nice pump going. Feeling confident, I'm doing this. Haven't gone down in reps yet, hopefully that stays the same. Day four is chest day. I felt awkward today. I did one less rep of 185. Today I'm feeling pretty normal, just at arms, so cardio is not really a big factor in doing arms. I've been doing cardio for months now and cutting it off is starting to kick in. After deadlifts, I was dead. I couldn't do anything else. I'm happy that the challenge is over. and I'm your host, Nicolette. Before we get into the 70s, I want to hear from our contestants. If you could time travel to any decade, what decade would you choose? Uh, uh, probably just the early 2000s. Good 90s. time. <laughs> Can I travel to the future? That's exactly what I would like to do. Like, go yeah. to the future just sounds like so much fun. How about you, Ellie? Uh, I guess... I would travel back to the 90s, but like to experience it as more of like a teenager or like early yeah. adult. Mm, that Ooh. angst is was <laughs> a really fun part of the 90s. So I'd like to travel to the future, if I'm being honest, and like I think it would be a great time. So let's get back to the show and jump into 70s trivia. Are you guys ready? Yeah. Awesome. First up is a news question. Who defeated Republican incumbent Gerald R. Ford in the presidential election in 1976? Ellie? Nixon? No, I'm sorry. Do you have it, Nina? Uh, Kennedy? No. Sage, want to steal? <laughs> it's not, is it Reagan? No, I'm sorry, it's Jimmy Carter. Oh, right. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Our pop culture question is, in 1975, what thriller about shark-infested waters opened in theaters on, to become a modern blockbuster? Sage? Jaws? Yeah, that's correct. Awesome. That wraps up the 70s, so now we're going to move on to the turbulent and influential decade, the most turbulent and influential decade of American history, the 1960s. What popular children's show that currently still airs had its premiere in 1969? 
Noah? Ellie? Simpsons? No, I'm sorry. <laughs> Do you want to take a guess? Anyone? Um, Sage? Arthur? No. That's a good question. Um, Nina? Sesame Street? Yeah, that's oh, correct. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so odd. <laughs> okay, for news, um, who became the first African-American Supreme Court Justice in 1967? <laughs> Maybe is this a tough one? Yeah. Anyone <laughs> want to guess? Is it Marshall? Yeah, Thurgood Marshall is oh, the answer. Wow. <laughs> I didn't think that was right. <laughs> you guys shouldn't doubt yourself oh up there. You guys are doing great. Okay. So sadly we're moving on to our last decade before two face off in the speed round. Are you guys ready for the nineteen fifties? Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Our first 1950s question is about the news. What year did Elizabeth II, the current Queen of England, become queen? 1956? Sage? No. Anyone want to steal? Ellie? Uh, 1955? No, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> Nina, do you want to? Um, 1952? Yeah, that's oh, correct. Oh <laughs> Nina is <laughs> killing it over here. OK. Also in 1952, what American actress and model who is named Norma Jean Mortensen legally changed her name to? <laughs> Nina? Marilyn Monroe. That's correct. Awesome. That was a great round. After this, the two contestants with the highest scores will move on to our speed round. So let's check in with Kofi for the final scores. Okay. Nina has 145 points. Okay. Sage has 45 points, and Ellie also has 45 Ooh. points. <laughs> okay. High stress. <laughs> <laughs> so it looks like we'll have all three contestants moving on to our next <laughs> round. Okay. Oh. We've gotten pretty far into history, but there's more. So stay tuned when we return to our show, Decades. day one of my week-long Fitbit challenge. Got my Fitbit Alter right here. So far so good. I went to an exercise class this morning, which is great. And I just walked home from work in the rain. Walked 18,000 steps or 7.2 miles today. So I'm feeling really, really good. It's not even 1 p.m. and my Fitbit told me that I already hit my step goal for today. So it's pretty awesome. I just went to a high intensity interval training class with my Fitbit, of course. I've been sitting a lot today, so I'm really glad I went to the gym. Um, I haven't been moving a lot, but my Fitbit has this feature where if I don't get 250 steps in an hour, it'll buzz and tell me to move. While I was running, I hit my daily step goal, so another great day. Feeling pretty good. And this week has gone really fast, but my Fitbit definitely helped motivate me, especially when I saw that I hadn't moved much or when I was really close to my goal. Welcome back to Decades. We're about to go on our speed round. So this is how it works. I'll ask the first question to the contestant with the most points, and they'll have two seconds to give an answer. Uh, the contestant will keep answering until they get it wrong. If they do get it wrong, then another contestant can steal. And then once the contestant answers the question right, they can continue answering until they get it wrong, if they do. OK, so are you ready to do it? Awesome. So I'm going to start with Anina since she has the highest points. Um, first question is, what fast food restaurant known for its golden arches was franchised in 1955? McDonald's. That's correct. OK, who is the US president that signed the Voting Rights Act of 1965 into law? Kennedy. No, I'm oh. sorry. Oh, no, sorry. Ellie, Sage. 1965? Yeah. Or six, yeah. Uh, Roosevelt? 
No, I'm sorry. Sage? Um, I don't know. <laughs> okay, so we'll go back to Nina since she still has the highest points, but the answer to that question was Lyndon B. Johnson. So, Nina, what 1977 movie featured a Wookiee, a Jedi, and Carrie Fisher? Star Wars. Okay. What is the name of rock and roll stars Elvis Presley's estate that became a public attraction in 1982? Mm, no idea. Hard Rock Cafe? No, I'm sorry. The correct answer is Graceland. Uh, okay. <laughs> so, go back to Nina. What year was the first Harry Potter series book published by author J.K. Rowling? What year? Yeah. Just shout out a year. 2001? Oh, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. It's 1997. Uh -huh. Okay. So, guess we'll go back to Nina. What popular video, share, video sharing website was founded in California in 2005? YouTube. Yes. And the last question, who won the FIFA World Cup in Brazil in 2014? Uh, 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 Germany? Yeah, that's correct. Oh, my God. <laughs> Okay, now that concludes our speed round. Let's check in with Kofi for one last time. Will you tell us who our winner is? The winner is Nina. Woo! <laughs> awesome. Congratulations, Nina. You just won decades. So for your prize, you get a old-fashioned Coke and some M&Ms. Thanks. <laughs> and our runners up will get Lucky Charms. <laughs> <laughs> thank you guys for playing. That's all for today's show. And thank you to our contestants for playing along and proving that millennials have some knowledge. <laughs> I'm your host, Nicolette, and thanks for watching Decades. Thank <laughs> you.